Okay. Ooh, guys, thank you all so much for training. It's incredible to see everybody on the mats. We've been having a ton of fun with these classes. This has been like easily the highlight of my day, uh, every day, even when I'm not the one teaching, right? I hop into all these classes. It's just good to see everyone. It's so nice to feel our community doing what we love and doing it together. So today, uh, a, lot of, a lot of technique today, all right? So we're gonna start off with the classic warm-up that we've been working, and then we're gonna get into a little bit of takedown shadowing. Remember, you don't need a partner for this class, so don't worry about that. We're gonna be able to do it solo. Then we're gonna get on the mats, a lot of movement around our gi dummy today. We'll finish with the chokes that we've been working all Saturdays, right? The last three Saturdays, but a lot more movement before we get there today. Okay, my friends? First, we'll bow in. All right, so you're gonna hear me counting in Portuguese. Maybe you have better Portuguese than me, that's cool. My Portuguese is terrible. Whoa, 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 Purple Bell, let's go. You can have the warm ups. Come on now. Ready, my friends? We'll start off with some. Uh, yeah, right. I gotta warm up my knees first. Jumping jacks, ready. And oh, Deutsch, Trace, Quatsch, Sing, Space, Set, Oit, Now, Dage. Let's go cross jacks. And oh, Deutsch, Trace, Quatsch, Sing, Save, Set, Oit, Now, Dave. Now we get those squats. And oh, oh, noise. Trace, you don't gotta go fast. Go slow, John. He's jumping legs. <laughs> Says. Set. Oito. Nave. Dave. Very nice, my friends. Let's break fall and hit the mat. Remember, you might be in an apartment. Don't be too loud. Don't get in trouble with your neighbors. So from the seated position, we'll just hit some nice, easy break balls. Remember, you might be on the carpet, uh, so let's not go crazy hard. You might be on a multi-level living situation. Don't piss off your neighbors. Ready. Deutsch, 
Trade. <laughs> Switching sides on every rep. And sink them. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nine. Dej. Very nice. Two more sit ups. You know these. Let's stay on our shoulders. Everybody on the right elbow first. Your right leg is straight. My left hand is on my right wrist watch. And <laughs> other side. Oh. Dois. Tres. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nave. Dez. Very nice. Let's do another rep. Jiu Jitsu sit ups. So, your right foot, let's curl under our hips. We're going to roll over that right shin. My left foot's in the floor. Remember, this might be a new movement for you. So, it's totally okay to post that right hand behind you. I just remember that whatever leg is bent, that hand is posted behind. I'll use it to help me push my weight up into the lunge. If you're not using your hands, no worries. The goal, especially for my upper belt, is to not put your back on the mat at all. I'm using my hands and my hips. Ready. Everybody and oh, switching legs on each rep. Joys. Trays. Quattro. Cinco. Seis. Set. Oito. Nave. Dej. Oh, you're doing great, my friends. Last thing. Break fall, stand up in base. We're going to get five on our right side, five on our left side. First, let's get into the right position. Right hand posted behind us, left foot posted on the floor, right leg is straight out in front of me. My left hand, elbow to knee, protect my face. Or sometimes maybe it's out here, give me a little push away. Depends on the situation. Ready? Up. Nice, and boom, we'll break it up <laughs> to our right side, my right hand to elbow, Deutsch, and break the ball, up, and trace, up, and quattro, up, last side on the right, cinco, nice, everybody back down. Left side, right foot's posted in the floor, right elbow to knee, left leg is straight, left hand is posted behind. Protect ourselves on the way up, and up. Break fall, and up, and break fall. Sorry guys, my dog is really excited about class today. And up. Two more. And up. Last rep. Nice work. Whew. Let's catch our breath. Let's catch our breath for a second. Now, I'm going to grab my Uki and ask for a little bit of help because she's a little shorter than I am. It'll be easier for you guys to see her as she works. Everybody on our feet. We won't quite need our dummy yet. Perfect. So, Beth is going to help us. She's going to be our ookie for some double leg work. Now, when we double leg, can I have you face this way? I'm not too picky on which leg you use to lead. Whichever one you do, you're just going to use that one for the whole class, okay? So we'll have Beth start with our left leg forward. Perfect. Now, we're going to say grappler stance, which means she's going to bend those knees, 
and get those hands up and protect her collar, right? Because if I can go, this doesn't help, right? And sat down. She knows this because she uh, she had to learn to really keep those hands up. You give away this grip, man, they got the party started before you. So her hands are going to be up. Her knees are bent. Now she's going to go really slow for us. We all can watch. Her left leg is going to take one step forward. We call it our penetration step. Now, from the penetration step, she's going to take another step. Perfect. Now, I'm going to show a little advanced version for our upper belt students. But the idea here, guys, is that she needs to get close enough to me that when she drops down on that right knee, pause. Make sure everyone can see. Oh, there we go. Drops, oh, purple belt, reset. Left leg forward, left leg steps, left knee down, right leg steps up, pause. Now, so let's check out her footwork. She's in a lunge, left leg forward, her penetration step, left knee down, right leg steps up, pause, please. Now, in this position, she is not done with the double leg. Here, if she just waits, it's too easy for me to sprawl out of this position. She's got to hop up into that squat. Her butt's going to stay down, her back's going to stay straight, and she's going to shuffle towards the camera. Sidestep, sidestep. Like we're uh, taking our partner down in a big L. We come forward, and then it's a hard right angle, right? So one more time, left leg steps, left knee down, Right leg steps, stand up in the squat, shuffle to the left. Nice. Now, guys, let's look at her hands. Everybody up, let's work this rep together. First, her hands are up and they're open. Knees are bent, back is straight. Left leg steps, left knee down, right leg steps. Now, let's take those hands and get a big hug. Go collect the calves, not the hips. Don't grab my hips, guys. I'm too strong there. Go low like you're going to grab my calves, my shoelaces. Step up in the squat and shuffle to the left. Very nice. All right, ready? You guys are going to work the reps. Now, if you got a partner with you, they can go together. We're all going to go for three minutes. It's going to burn. It's going to be tough. There's no way around it. Monitor your breathing. If you get lost, I'll be walking Beth through the reps. Hop in on our technique. Now, a couple things. If you don't have mats, I don't recommend hitting your knee to the floor. So when we say knee down, just halfway. Come back up. Does everyone understand? Questions? You guys feel good? We're ready? All right, before we go, let's clap it out. On three, one, two. Nice. All right, here we go. Three minutes is on. Left leg forward, left leg steps. Nice. Into the lunge, into the squat, shuffle. I want to take that hard turn to the left. Nice. Ooh, it's going to start burning. Accept that. You ain't worried about that. Perfect. Left leg forward, left leg penetration step, left knee down, right leg steps up. Hug the hands in the squat, shuffle. Very nice. Good work, Quan. Very nice technique, my friend. Woo. Hey, there we go. Nice work, Heather. Remember, guys, if you don't have mats, please don't slam that knee on the ground. We don't got to hurt the leg. Just a little baby step. Yeah, I love that, Josh. Very nice. If you have a partner, guys, go ahead and go one for one. You can rep it on them. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, good work, Corey. Good work, good work. I got another 90 seconds. Let's go. Deep, big breath. Deep breath. Don't hold our breath, guys. Not in our wrestling. It'll wear us out too much. Nice, Jesse. Super smooth. Hey, good stance, Eric. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. Perfect. 
All right, guys, let's pause for a second. Now, I know that training in the, the Zoom class isn't quite like training in the classroom, but one of the things that it does for us is it allows us to slow down a little bit and we can show the, the juicy little details, okay? I wanna show you guys a trick that changed my uh, double leg percentage, right? Like it changed how often this would work and that got me way more confident in shooting my takeouts, okay? And what we're gonna look at is best back leg. So, we'll have her go really slow. So far, the cue, pause, right there. You see how she took that step with her lead leg? Now notice this big gap between her lead leg and her back leg. Sometimes it can feel like that back leg is so far behind us, it's like a dead weight. And now it's really tough to keep moving forward in the shot. It's almost like the ground is calling us and we go to the floor too early. So when Beth drops that knee down, sometimes she's super far away. Notice the stretch in her legs, okay? Now, one of the things that really helped me was I got shown a cool trick. Before your left leg goes, your right leg's gonna go. You're gonna click your heels together. It's gonna feel really funny first. Never go slow. Her back leg's gonna step up, pause. It's right beside her lead leg. Not square, about an inch behind it, but really close to it. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bump her left leg forward. Notice how much closer she is to the shot and her legs aren't stretched out to where she's in that awkward long lunge. Now when she drops her knee into the shot, Ooh, look at that smoothness. Hops up into the squat and ready to go. There we go. So let's do it one more time. Everybody with us. Everybody with us. Left leg forward, back leg bumps, lead leg steps. Notice how that will help with your fluidity. It will help with the momentum of the shot. We don't have to feel quite so stretched out. So we're going to go for another 90 seconds with this extra step. Back leg's going to step first. Work time, guys. Back leg bumps the front leg, front leg penetration step into our lunge, into our squat, cut the angle and finish. Nice, very nice. Hey. Hopefully you can feel how, what a difference it makes to take that back leg step first. Really brings our hips with us. So we're not bending over on the shot. Let's my legs do all the work. Perfect. 30 more seconds, bump, penetration, knee down, step up, and shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Bump, penetration, step up, squat, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One more rep, one more rep. Hey, very nice. Super smooth, Caesar. Very nice doubles, my friend. Good work. All right, guys, we'll catch our breath. Whoo! Get a little air in those lungs. Let's have a seat. So I'm gonna grab Stuffy Steve, and we're gonna get into our technique. Now, today I'd like to do a lot of extra movement. Some of this you've already done. Okay, so we know about the Toriando. We know about hopping over to the other side. Now we're going to uh, add some around the world with our side controls. Let's tie together our north-south to our pass. The biggest thing I can say about passing the guard guys, it's got to be a lot of attempts, right? You, you want to just pepper passes, pass, 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 pass. Because the guard is trying to stay together in all those passes. Eventually, the knots start to loosen. The guard will fall apart. But I don't want to think about passing to side control. Okay? We kind of talked about that with the hop over. We're going to Toriando. Shuffle to the right. Right knee down. Right shoulder down. I don't try to get to right here. You know, I want to pass the guard. But I know that if I'm just trying to land here, Anytime my partner scoots away, man, there's all this of them that I'm not controlling, right? And we talked about how if they're really slick, they're going to move our head over and dump it to the side. Now I can't control them from tripping out and regarding. So we accommodate that by planning on hopping over. I'm not trying to pass to a certain position. I'm trying to get past your legs. Does that make sense? 
So the idea is that when we pass, we're always trying to get to the back, not to the side control. So I'm not tied to this. I'm not married to the idea of like, get the side control, get the side control, get the side control. No, get past the legs so we can get to the mount. Everyone feel good with that? So let's add a little bit of body work here. We're gonna toy on the backs. Our partner's gonna move our head to the side, or if you got a stuffy buddy, just move your head to your knees. Now, I'm hip to hip to my partner, my outside hand, which for me will be my right hand, posts on the floor, my left hand, my hand that's around the legs and the body of my dummy, just gonna lay down. Shoulder to the dummy. And we're gonna pick up our hips, hop over to the other side. Now, again, we're not stuck to side control. I don't plan on having to be here to win. I just need to pass the legs. So from this position, we're gonna secure. Our far hand gets the underhook, grip on the shoulder. Our near side hand's gonna go grab the, the near side frame. All right, so my left hand hooks the elbow. Here we go. Open my left knee so my right leg can slide underneath. Move into the case katami position. From case katami, I'm gonna bring my near side elbow, my left elbow, all the way across and put it in my dummy's armpit. Because now I'm gonna be able to switch my hips into the north south. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. My left elbow, because I'm going to the left, my left arm's gotta get out of the way, right? I can't back step with my elbow still here because now he's gone, I lost control of the far side. So we're gonna move our left elbow to the far side and then back step. Scoop up the arm, we're back into case katami. From case katami, square up, cut the knee across the belly, mount, right? So from here, we'll stand up, we'll run it again. Everybody up. Yeah, sure. Let's do it together. First, pant grips. Or if you got a pillow, just hands on the pillow, no worries. Get the feet to disconnect, shuffle to the right. Don't cross those legs. Right knee down, right shoulder down. Now let's go hip to hip, move our head to the side of our knees. Pose our right hand, pick up our hips. Walk over to the other side. Now here we go. First, my right hand's gonna get an underhook. So my far hand goes underhook. My near hand grabs the near elbow. Open up that left leg, the knee that's right by the ear. Go knee to the ceiling. So you can slide that right leg through. Sit to our butt, modified case katana. Now from here, left arm's gonna go over the body. So my near side arm goes over the body. Right in the armpit. Like we're gonna go chest to chest. Left leg steps over the head, north south. Now let's take that left arm, bring it across their body, put it in their armpit, pick up that right knee, slide that right knee all the way behind you. Nice. Chase Katami on the other side. Now from here, go cross face with our right hand. There we go. Scoop up the face, put their ear in your bicep. Switch our hips, knees on the floor, side control. And now here you go. Remember, we use our head on the mat. We walk our left hand to clear their far side frame. Knee cuts the belly, kicking all the way into the mat. Nice. From here, we'll hop up and we'll run it again. Now, Beth is going to run this chain on Stuffy Buddy. We're going to drill at the same time. I'm going to watch you. Does anybody have any questions? Everybody feels good? Thumbs up. You feel good? Nice. All right, on three, guys. One, two. Hey, good work, my friends. We'll hop up. Toriando passes first. Here we go. Pants control. Shuffle to the right. Nice. Drop the right knee, the right shoulder. Bring your head to the same side as your knees. Post your hand and hop over to the other side. Nice. Right hand's gonna get an underhook. Left hand's gonna scoop up the arm and we're gonna open up that left knee. Slide our right leg through, case katami. Nice. 
Now from here, we're gonna take that left arm, bring it across the body, put it in their armpit. Nice, and north south, step that left leg over. Perfect, from here we'll bring our left arm across the body, put it in the far armpit, and back step that right leg. Now you gotta get past their arm, exactly, scoop it up. Let's go cross face with our right hand, underhook with our left hand, we'll go into that side control pin position. We'll slide our left knee across the stomach, walk our left hand up, 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 into the mount, and finish. Nice, upper belts, go ahead and finish with a sub there if you feel good. If you remember the cross collar choke we've been working from here, please execute. And work time, hop up, let's run it again. Try the other side, player. Nice. First, the Toriando pass. Perfect. From the Toriando, we're going to side control, hop to the other side control. Yes, just because we know they're going to try to escape, right? We're just trying to stay in front of their regard. Now let's sit through to Case Katami. So this head and, head and arm ride position, very nice. There's plenty of submissions from here, guys, or we'll move into the north-south. Bring our elbow across the armpit, step over the head. Go at your pace, my friends, whatever you feel comfortable with. Bring that elbow across, far armpit, back step to the case katami on the other side. So it's totally fine if our partner moves, right? We got the good skills, we're gonna move around that. Get to the mount, get to the mount, side control, far side pin, cut the belly, walk the frame, mount. Go ahead and finish with a submission there. You know the cross collar choke. You know the arm bar. Perfect, perfect. We'll hop up, run it again. Whoo, there we go, Eric. Very nice, my friend. Keep breathing, guys, keep breathing. I know, it's that quarantine conditioning. I feel you. Don't hold your breath. It's good to sweat a bit. You missed it. Nice. North-South is a fantastic position. We got mad submissions from here, but we'll leave them. We'll go Case Katami on the other side. Perfect. Perfect. Nice, Jesse. Yep, open the jacket, four fingers in. Money time. Let's see, Steve, you feel good, buddy? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Nice, hey, good work, Corey. It looks like your pup's helping you out, Corey. <laughs> what are you doing? You're beating up those poor pillows. Yes. Very nice, my friends. Hey, good work, Thomas. Good pressure with that modified case, Katami. Just keeping our chest to chest, keep their weight down. Nobody gets an easy attack on us. No one gets easy escapes. They're behind. Let's keep the pressure on. Ooh, you got 45 seconds. Keep it up. Nice. Toriando, hop over. Case Katami, north south. Back step to Case Katami on the other side. Find your mount. And finish. Whew, breathe it out. Breathe it out. Nice, Quan. Good pace. Keep this pace up for me, buddy. 30 seconds. Everybody, one more rep. If, you have, if you're working with a partner, let's make sure we're going one for one. There we go. Perfect. Nice, Joe. Very nice. John, this feels okay? Just thumbs up for me. John, you feel good? Thumbs for me. Yes, perfect. And finish this last rep, my friends. Finish it up. Hey, very nice. Okay, so let's talk about S mount. Grab that dummy, let's hop in the mount. All right, so your stuffy buddy may not be uh, super thick through the middle, right? So we're gonna have to kind of play with the position a little bit. Recognize that 
my guy can't react like how they would in the in the real role, right? Everyone was doing great with that cross collar choke. Remember, we work three variations of this choke. One where we go underneath, one where we walk the post and come over the top. And that third one was when we were using our elbow on the ear, opening the space, going thumb in the collar, and then, then bringing the elbow over the top. Here's our choke. Now, the most common response to the choke is for them to defend the grip. So we, uh, we have a plan for this in jiu-jitsu. I almost always end up in the arm bar when I cross collar choke in the mouth, right? Now, for sure, uh, there are moments where it's just the finish is so easy. We're just gonna finish right there in the choke. Other times, my opponent's super tough. They don't wanna give an inch. So as soon as I get to here, we end up with this grip on our arm, right? He doesn't want to get choked. So grab that gi arm for me, throw him over your right hand. Perfect. Now, the thing that we'll notice here, and if we're using a pillow, no worries, the motion is more than enough to drill. It will make perfect sense for you. But the idea here is that everything costs something, right? Whether you're on the mat or off of it. So when this cat decides to defend the choke with their arms, their arms become our target, right? We're gonna attack the defense directly. So first thing first, this hand reaching up exposes the back, only a quarter of an inch, right? But I'm gonna take my knee and slide it right behind that shoulder. So my right hand goes in the collar, I'm gonna throw that sleeve over our right forearm. Now my left knee is gonna slide all the way up to my right hand. So pass their shoulder like a wedge right on the side of their shoulder. I'm trying to keep that back exposure that we saw just a little bit, just a little bit off the mat. That's all I'm going to need because now we're going to go over here, make sure this hand's out of the way, right? We're just going to bring both hands up. I just don't want to get it caught in my legs when we switch to the now or the S now. My left knee's high, like it's up like the hairline as far as it will go. My right leg is going to start extending. As it extends, it's going to curl. Now, when I first learned the S now, notice uh, how far away my heel is from my knee. This is what feels good to me, right? Like uh, I'm new to S now, I'm not sure how this should look. So I just make the little bends in my knees and this is it. But as you get more comfortable with the S now, you're going to start getting your heel closer to your knee, almost where they touch. The only way we're going to get that to work, guys, is if we take that right hand collar grip and we pull up on it. I want to pull this person up onto my right knee and my, or my left knee and my right heel is going to curl and they're going to touch underneath my partner's head, right? So if my knee dummy is in my lap. I have their head slightly off the mat and now it's going to be really easy to attack this arm. Our left hand is going to curl and grab my own gi. So I don't have to hold on to his sleeve. I'm holding on to my lapel. My right hand can now let go. It's gonna come reach. If I got a pillow, it's gonna post on the floor. If I got a gi dummy with legs, it's gonna grab the pants. In a perfect world, if I had a partner, I would scoop up this leg because we're gonna dive toward the legs. I don't wanna dive toward the legs and just leave my left leg off. Cause then here comes my opponent. They're gonna stack and come on top. When I dive towards the legs, I'm going to put my shin right on my partner's face so they don't get to come with me. There we go. Now my left leg, because I'm so heavy on my right side, my left leg can straighten. Yeah, it's not nice, right? So don't be a jerk in the academy, but this shit is going to scrape the face. When it finally kicks off the face, you just wipe their nose, we're going to come back to our butt. We have both legs out, one leg across the chest, one leg across the face. Guys, no pointy toes. I think it's awesome that you like ballerina dancing, but we're doing jiu-jitsu right now. In jiu-jitsu, we curl our toes to our kneecaps. So my hamstrings can be strong and I can push pressure onto the face so my partner doesn't sit up. Now that right hand grip you have on the pants, let's go ahead and curl that grip. Because in the academy, a grip won't be enough. They'll kick that away, and then they go running out, hitchhiker, or they stack themselves and finish the escape. 
Curl the leg. So this person stays stuck with us. Pro tip. We're going to lean towards the legs when we finish. That doesn't mean get all the way on my side. It just means a slight angle to the right. It's going to keep my partner stuck. It's going to get maximum exposure of the elbow and extension of the arm because their head's so far away. Here's where we'll lay back. I don't even let go of the lapel, guys. The thumb doesn't matter because we have this arm so exposed. They can hide their thumb however they want. That elbow's going to break. Now, there's a correct way to read guard into the mount, guys. Feet come off of the break fall. They face the legs. We come back into the mount, and we run it again. Now, if you have a partner, you'll go one for one. If you're on the E dummy, this is your chance to get a ton of reps setting up your S mount arm ball. Anybody got questions? All right, let's all do it together this rep. Ready? Hop into our mount. Perfect. Left hand opens the jacket. Four finger grip with our right hand slides in on the choke. Knuckles to mat, right? Now, we're going to take that arm on this side. We're going to throw it over so we can practice attacking this mat or this arm. My left hand is going to close so my right knee can slide up in the shoulder. Almost like my kneecap is past my partner's hairline. Now, my left hand is going to go get this arm. The far arm, bring it across, set it across my belly. Now with my weight on my right heel, right under my butt, my left weight, man, no, it's me, I'm backwards. My weight on my left heel is gonna allow me to get light on my right leg and swing it across, curling it towards the head. Now, I can't let my partner be head to mat here. The S mount won't quite feel right. I gotta pick up their head so my heel and knee can come together. As close as they can get. Now I'm really heavy on this arm. I'm only leaning up because we're talking. My chest to the back of the elbow, my left hand, my lead hand, the one that's over the head, is going to scoop up the arm. It's going to grab my own lapel. Perfect. Now with the lapel grip secured, my right hand can let go. So we're going to let go of their collar, go grab their pant leg, or a hand on the floor if I'm on the pillow. From here, we're going to lean to the right, using that weight in our right hand, my right hip heavy on their belly, so my left leg can get light. We're not going to kick it out. This is too much space. Instead, we're going to bring that shin right over the face. Nice. Now, with that pressure in the shin, here comes the leg extension. We're wiping their nose very nicely. We'll sit to our hips, arm bar position. Pinch our knees, curl our toes. Go scoop up the leg with your right hand. Leaning to the right just a bit, leaning back, hipping up and finish. Nice, all right. So if that's gonna work her reps, I'm gonna watch us go. Before we get there, does anybody have any questions? We feel good with this? We're ready? Man, give yourself some time. It's gonna feel a little clunky at first, especially if this is new for you. Be patient, this will get easy, just like shrimping's easy for you now, right? On three, you ain't getting away with no claps, players. Ready? On three, one, two. Very nice. Let's get to work. Starting in the mount, set up that collar choke. When our partner defends the choke, we're going to bring that arm across our arm to show us the defense. We're going to slide our left knee all the way to our right hand. Yes. Perfect. Get way up there in the S now. Now we're going to go with our left hand. We're going to grab their far sleeve, bring it across, because we like to collect both arms in a real-life scenario. That's going to allow us to curl our right leg straight, unfurl it straight, and then curl that heel to our left knee. Now remember, they may not be uh, quite in your lap yet. Pull up a little bit so you can get their head up, get that heel to your kneecap. Nice. Now from here, your left hand's going to scoop through, grab your own jacket, now my right hand can let go and it's gonna go post behind me. Like it, grabbing their pant leg, post on the floor. It's just gonna help bear my weight a bit because I'm gonna start leaning on my right hip. That's gonna allow me to pick up my kneecap and set that knee on their face. Not to be a jerk, just to make sure they don't come with us. Extend that shin across the nose, wipe the nose. Nice, sitting back into our arm bar. Curl their leg with your right hand, laying back, extend our hips and finish. 
Legs switch towards the mount. Come back up, run it again. If you're with a partner, let's go one for one. One for one so everybody gets reps. Nice. Here we go. Set up the choke. We know they're going to try to defend the choke, so we're planning on it. It's a setup for our arm bar. Trap game city in the jiu-jitsu world, my friends. Perfect. Knee high behind the armpit. Almost like that kneecap's going to go past their hairline. Yes. Very nice, Richard. Now we're going to start leaning to the left because we scooped up the leg. Here comes that knee over the face, shin to nose. Wipe the nose. Very nice, Richard. Sitting back, super sticky. Keep that leg curled. Yes. Pinch our knees, guys. Make sure we don't hurt ourselves. Pinch those knees. Perfect. Hey, very nice, Steve. Super, super clean, man. Very good work. There we go, Thomas. Feels good. Thumbs up. It feels good, Thomas. Yes. Perfect. Hey. Notice how this person is so broken down when you make it to S now. Once you're here, you have control of both arms. You have their head off the mat so their bridge doesn't work anymore. They can't shrimp, at least in any way that gets rid of you. You got time in the S mount. That's why it's such a coveted position. Get here and secure. They can't get rid of you. The submission is inevitable. Or it's going to put us on the back like we're working in our all levels classes. Perfect. Shin across the face. Wipe the nose. Then we'll sit back. Armbar City. Good work, good work. Very nice, nice, Eric, good control. Scoop up that leg, wipe the nose with our shin, then extend that left leg. Yes, now we can sit back, finish. Pinch those knees, good technique, my friend. Finish this rep for me, guys, stand up. Finish this rep and stand up, nice, Quan. Knee across the face, shin to nose, slice the face, yes. Perfect, everybody up, everybody up. There we go, I wanna run the whole chain. I'm putting you on the spot, right meow, ready? Everybody grab the pants, and Toriando pass, perfect. And hop over to the other side, nice. Okay, let's sit through to Case Katami. Scoop up the arm, slide through. Let's go to north-south, bring that elbow across the belly. Step over the head, nice. Let's put the elbow on the other side. Back step, Case Katami. Perfect, let's go to side control. Secure the far side pin with the cross face. Slice the knee across the belly, walk that right hand high, mount. Here we go, let's attack the choke. Open the collar, they defend. Slide that knee high behind their arm. Get it way past their head. Here we go for our S mount. Control both arms. Curl the, L, or the heel to the knee. Get the head off the mat. Here we go. Scoop up the arm. Scoop up the leg. Lean towards the leg. Shin to face. Lay back. Wipe the nose. Very nice. Good work, my friends. Everybody up. Whew. Nice work, everybody. I am stoked with that class. All the major positions of Jiu Jitsu, right? We'll double leg, we'll put them on the floor. We know they're going to do good things. This is why we train. We want to have our skill set so broad that we can accommodate their success, right? Because this Jiu Jitsu man, she has a perspective of how it's going, so do I. We both are trying to do our most skillful techniques, we're both trying to come out ahead. So in every exchange, I can't just be doing jiu-jitsu that I want to be doing. I have to be doing the jiu-jitsu that's appropriate for the jiu-jitsu she's trying to do. Does that make sense? I think it's really important to think about off the mats too, right? Like, uh, yeah, everything is super stressful right now. A lot of things are not going the way they normally would be going for you. What are you doing with that, right? What strategies are you using to accommodate how much life has changed to keep you moving in your most skillful path. You do it all the time in jiu-jitsu. You're constantly looking to navigate how the role is going. 
you don't see a bad position and think, oh man, this is it. I guess it's, I just, it's just gonna suck now, right? You're always looking for that next most skillful step. Let's do it off the mats too. Even when the craziness gets super loud, there's always that next most skillful step that you can take, right? Sometimes you gotta grin and bear it, but that is the most skillful step you can take. I know it's not the only one though, right? Nobody gets the bottom side control and says, I'll just wait here until they give up. You're always trying your escapes. You're always betting on you. And let's do it off the mats too, guys. Thank you so much for training. I appreciate everybody coming in. We got class in uh, about 12 minutes. I'd love for you to stay on. Let's chit chat until we get started in all levels. I would love to see you in some other classes as well, guys. We have a huge schedule this all this following week. So please, if you want to train, we're ready to train with you. Thank you guys so much. We'll bow out.